everyone welcome back to my channel so uh, this is going to be a public service announcement video so uh, I updated my uh, Nokia X25 G to Android 12 developer preview a couple of days ago and uh, if you want to know about the preview and uh, how to go about it um, the entire walkthrough you can watch my previous video on that now uh, my feedback on how the Android 12 is uh, I would say that uh, it's pretty much stable, uh, no major crashes, actually didn't have any crashes at all, uh, minor glitches during app transition, otherwise uh, pretty much stable, all the Android 11 apps that I had was working well, and um, I do get a pretty much constant fast charging which was not really the case with Android 11, so the entire device can be juiced up in about one and a half hours, so which is pretty good and pretty reliable. Uh, so uh, like how it was when I wanted to show with you the walkthrough of installing Android 12 I wanted to do the same with Android 11 and I hit a major 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 issue so do take note for those of you who are contemplating to actually update to Android 12 developer edition or to downgrade so do not do either one of them alright so the Android 12 developer edition preview the software comes with a lot of warning and uh, true enough there is no support when it comes to the online Nokia care support it's not available for uh, this device once you upgrade it into Android 12 and unfortunately what they failed to mention is that the download procedure itself is equally hazardous now <coughs> it is really 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 a bad uh, experience because uh, I was not aware that such an incident can actually take place but uh, this is what actually happened so uh, three nights ago I wanted to downgrade this device to Android uh, 11 so as you can see this is still pretty much Android 12 I'm still running on Android 12 so this is Android 12 all right so it's easy how to downgrade back to uh, Android 11 all you need to go is to this app my phone and then of course this is not updated but then it'll show you then you can actually select to downgrade to Android 11 and the update will be pushed to your device now unfortunately when I tried to do that so what, what you can see here is uh, let's go here so you can see this update here software rollback to Android 11 official release now unfortunately when I click uh, the installation what it does is it downloads it installs and then it restarts and it asks to download again now I thought that this was basically just upgrading uh, to a newer and a newer firmware but no it is all the same uh, Android update sorry downgrade and then I actually went through the entire cycle for about 15 times easily and I realized that uh, this is something really really not normal and I tried to reach out to Nokia care online support they do not know a thing about it and sad to say Nokia care through the email the support was actually very weak and it all boils down to them asking me to send the device back to Nokia Care where I bought it from. Unfortunately, as you all know, this device is not officially sold in my country. I bought it from Hong Kong and there's no way of me sending it back to Hong Kong for this. So I tried to reason with them, tried to find out what is the actual issue. So they actually told me that uh, it's because that the device comes with the Hong Kong firmware and then when I actually downgrade it, uh, the firmware is mismatched because uh, I'm currently in Malaysia so I don't think so that explanation is accurate because uh, I've reached out to other users having this same problem yes there are others also having these same issues and you can go to the Nokia forum and can you read uh, uh, there's one of them have uh, the device with the same problem and this device is actually officially available in his country the good thing is that he can send it back to the Nokia care center in his country but I could not do that because this is not officially available here so for the past three days I've been really thinking how to go about it because the problem is that the moment it restarts there is no way of actually skipping the uh, upgrade alright so this upgrade will continue to, ha to happen so it will again reboot the phone then it will ask you to choose the language then you will have to enter a Wi-Fi or a data network for it to go to the next step there is no way of actually skipping the entire process to go for an offline installation it has to go online it has to go through checking for a new update which it will then show again that uh, this upgrade is available it will ask you to reboot the device and the same cycle happens again and again and again so what I feel is that the server that is pushing for this upgrade is actually having an issue it, it does not recognize this as probably a newer update so it has actually sent the device into a loop now normally what happens is that every time you were to sort of um, 
do a new phone purchase or after resetting the device it will walk you through uh, it will of course towards the end of setting up the device it will check for an up upgrade or an update to see if there's any new update available so that you can apply the update and go on of course in that scenario you do have the option to actually skip it all together and go for an offline installation unfortunately this is not the case here there is no way of skipping it and somehow the device recognized that this upgrade uh, is not proper and there's a new upgrade this is because of how the upgrade is sent over to your device so this is device specific upgrade so once you activate it in your uh, my home uh, sorry my phone app then the my phone app uh, will then uh, go through the activation of uh, requesting for this upgrade and then the server will be pushing this update so every time your device starts to reboot it will still be receiving this update because the server side is still pushing for the update and this has sent this device into a loop which Nokia Care does not acknowledge at all despite me reaching to them complaining about this so I was at the midst of actually burying this phone away and then get on with life because it's been three sleepless nights of going through this so this evening I was just doing some random reading I came across this uh, website called Take Mast uh, Mesto and I reached out to him and he was very prompt with this reply. I chat to, uh, with uh, him through this website itself. I explained to him this problem. I asked him whether there's anything at all you can do to help me. And yes, he was very prompt with the reply and he explained to me what are the possible things that is happening with this device and how we can actually sort of uh, make use of what we could at the moment. So it boils down to two options. One is to somehow uh, temporarily remove this uh, in uh, sorry this block of uh, having to update uh, through Wi-Fi means to bypass the online activation and go for a manual activation so uh, of course like I have told you before this is not available at all I have tried many many combinations of getting this to upgrade or downgrade in a um, in a, in, a, in a normal way but it does not happen safe mode does not happen hard reset does not happen soft reset doesn't happen it does not help at all and trust me I have many devices I've not had an issue like this if there was a word of caution that downgrading this device itself might be in hassle then I would be definitely thinking twice whether to do that or not but there was no warning at all given that uh, downgrading the device itself is going to be such a hassle and you can potentially just break your device basically that's what happened to uh, to my device it was like a brick doing nothing but showing that there's an update to be installed so the second option was actually to clean wipe the device and install it with the known Android 11 firmware but then we don't know which over the air update I will be missing so the safest and the fastest way to is actually just to allow the device to bypass the online activation and go for an offline activation so this is where things get technical and uh, I was really hoping that uh, something can be done about it and true enough yes the help came uh, within 30 minutes uh, having chat with him through the net uh, this guy is miles thousands of miles away he's from India and he actually helped me to set up through the PC and he took over all the procedures that needs to be done and managed to bypass the online activation which allowed me to return back to the home screen and use the device as it is for now of course the caveat here is that the server is still pushing the upgrade to my device and until and unless Nokia recognizes this issue and then block it there is no way for me to do something about it so for now I'm going to uh, use the device as it is I'm not going to downgrade I'm telling you guys as well do not downgrade because it's going to be a hassle and if you're thinking of updating uh, no it is not worth the risk at all so do not update do not downgrade at all at any cost it is not safe so for those of you who have had the same issue and uh, Nokia Care is not uh, able to help either because your device is not being covered in that particular country uh, or they simply refuse to acknowledge your issue do contact uh, this guy's number I'm gonna uh, sorry this guy's contact I'm gonna leave it in the link below uh, please contact him he's a genuine guy he really actually helped me I never thought that this is possible to get a help from a random person out just like that 
the entire procedure was done in about probably 30 to 45 minutes some hassle because i'm using a windows 11 pc so the entire procedure was simple not, nothing much for me to do just let him let the P, the phone connect to the pc and he took over and he did everything now the same guy who has helped me uh, is also does downgrades uh, for other devices so you can actually talk to him if you at all you feel that um, this uh either this device or any other devices have issues in the, on the software side and you want to get some help a reliable help i would definitely tip my hats off in this direction so i'm really telling you guys don't do this update at all at any cost it is really not worth it i've had three sleepless nights because of this and i'm really renting this out because there is no way that nokia has actually informed that downgrading itself is going to be this much of an hassle so uh, I do hope that uh, this uh, Nokia does actually take note of uh, what's actually happening and then prevent this from becoming a disaster for many others out there. So I hope that uh, all of you uh, stay safe in the meantime and I'm going to give the link. You can uh, go to his website and have a chat with him for whatever software related issue related to your uh, device. Definitely genuine. I've tried it. I'm recommending it. So I hope all of you do the same if at all you all need any help. So stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I'll, I'll be updating this progress on what's happening next as I get to know. So till then, uh, see you in the next video. Take care.